we all have a recipe we miss. A recipe that reminds us of a household tradition or a dish from our favorite restaurant which has since been closed. Revisiting some of these recipes and finding some lost ones, let's embark on this journey called Lost Recipes of US, a new series by Honest Cooks. In the first season of the series, we'll build an entire menu by rediscovering lost recipes with a storied past. For the premiere episode, let's turn the pages of culinary history and go all the way back to 1972 as we visit Café Balaban in St. Louis, Missouri. This small cafe with a seating capacity of 43 people listed many delicious recipes on its menu. But today it is mainly remembered as the birthplace of a scrumptious soup recipe which we are rediscovering today. Let's revive the lost recipe of Cucumber Bisque. By definition, a bisque uses seafood stock, but this recipe uses chicken stock. Balabans calls this Cucumber Bisque on its menu, so that's what we'll call it too. To start with the prep, peel and dice the cucumbers and white onions somewhat evenly so everything cooks uniformly. This recipe is different from the Polish cucumber soup which uses pickled cucumbers and has a much deeper color. But I do believe that the American version likely originated from its Polish counterpart and was adopted into American households by the Polish immigrants who came to the US between 1820 and 1914. That's almost a hundred years, so it's enough time for a recipe to evolve and use fresher ingredients. To begin with the cooking process, once the vegetables are ready, we'll melt some butter in a sauce pot or a deeper pan. We don't need to brown the butter, just when it's melted, we'll add in the cucumbers and the onions. Remember to keep the flame on medium. We're not looking for any brown on the butter or the cucumbers and onions because we want to keep the bisque a nice light green color. It's important to keep stirring and just as the vegetables sweat a little bit, we'll add in the chicken stock. This took about 4 minutes for me on medium heat. Give it a quick stir to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom and we'll cook this until the vegetables are soft and mushy. Don't cover the pot though because that tends to change the color of the soup to light brown. Leave it uncovered while it's bubbling away on medium heat. It will take anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes for the vegetables to cook down depending on how big you've chopped them. Once they're cooked down though, we'll not be blending the soup. Instead, we will be straining it through a fine strainer and then using a spatula force the vegetables through the strainer. When you're replicating this recipe at home, you can definitely blend it and then strain it if you wanted to. But I think this original recipe does not use a food processor because back in the day they were not as widely available. But that's just my guess. Anyway, after straining all of the juices and flavors, get rid of the pulp. Then in the same pot, we'll make a very light roux. The soup is thickened with roux but we have to be careful to not get any color on the roux because we still want to keep the soup a nice light green color and i feel that is the most number of roux i've ever said in a sentence but we're not done yet so to make what is called a blonde roux as soon as the butter melts add in the flour and as soon as the flour is fragrant add the soup back into the pot and let it cook for two to three minutes on medium heat while we keep whisking to break any lumps and avoid browning the bottom once the soup begins to thicken, turn off the heat. At this point, the soup is very light. It likes a certain creamy texture. To achieve that, we'll use liaison, which essentially is a mix of egg yolks and heavy cream. To make my liaison, I'm using two egg yolks and a third cup of heavy cream. Both of these are at room temperature and we'll whisk this comically fast to combine the two together. Now since the soup is boiling hot, if we add the egg and cream mixture directly to the pot, we'll essentially have scrambled eggs. So let's temper the liaison first by slowly pouring about a cup of hot soup as we constantly whisk. And once we have tempered eggs and cream, it's safe to pour it into the soup, but I would still recommend slowly pouring it back as you stir the soup, just to avoid any remote possibility of scrambling the eggs. 
And finally, add some salt to season it and bring it up to temperature if you're serving it hot. If you're serving this chilled, you can store this in the fridge in an airtight container overnight. And to serve this, we'll garnish with cubed cucumbers and a touch of bright green parsley. And here we have it, cucumber bisque. Episode 1 of Lost Recipes of US. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a lovely day.